Hello students, my name is Santosh Kumar and I am the course instructor for Machining Sciences and Tool Design. We are discussing module number 4 that is Tool Life and Machining Economics. In this video, we will be discussing about effect of cutting parameters and tool geometry on tool life. Okay, as we described earlier, uh, the tool life is the time between the two successive resharpening. That is, you have started using a tool it has lost its sharpness or usage and then you are going for resharpening so the time duration between the two resharpening period is called can be called as a tool life or you can also judge the tool life by time for which the tool cuts it effectively uh, that is once it loses its uh, tool life okay that is because of a wear which is happening so the two workpiece uh, may not be cut effectively so that is what tool life is and influencing factors for tool life are this so for example uh, the operating or cutting conditions that means the speed feed and depth of cut so higher the speed higher the feed and higher the depth of cut the tool wears out faster that is tool life decreases as you increase the speed feed and depth of cut and then we have a work based material that is if you are cutting a hard material or a soft material if you are cutting a hard material then wear tool uh, wears out faster than a soft material and then we have a tool material so if you are going for higher order material like uh, diamond cbn then it wears out later the uh, bit uh, you will be having a very good uh, tool life but if you are going for a very low uh, carbon steel or any other uh, cutting tool which is having a very less uh, that is it is not having a higher order so then you will be having a very less tool life next is the geometry of a tool uh, that we will discuss in detail in our next slide and then we have a cutting conditions that is uh, dry or uh, wet so if you are using a coolant so the heat is carried away by the coolant and thereby uh, you are reducing the friction and thereby the wear otherwise if you are going for a dry conditions then you will be tool life will decrease so tool geometry what it implies the size the shape of the tool the size of the tool that that is what tool geometry means and then uh, let us discuss about uh, rake angle so as you can see uh, the rake angle is positive here and then uh, negative okay i'll just select that okay as you can see the positive and negative rake angles are given here so this is positive rake angle and this is negative rake angle and this zero rake angle okay as the torque piece uh, get influence uh, come in contact with the cutting tool so i'll just write an example here so this is the cutting tool and uh, this is the rake angle so if the rake angle is negative then this portion gets increased as you can see here so then there will be more contact of the uh, work piece with the cutting tools and thereby the crater wear increases and if the uh, you have a positive rate you can see the contact between the workpiece and the cutting tool reduces and similarly the clearance angle so which is not shown here so usually the clearance angle is given here so this is a clearance angle so if the clearance angle is less that is if the cutting tool is like this so the, it will come in contact with the workpiece that is more area is in contact and the wear happens uh, rapidly that is the plank wear and if the if there is a negative uh, rake like this then there will be more lot of crater wear because the chips will be flowing over this surface okay and that is why positive rake is required and if you have a too much of positive rake okay then the uh, wedge angle decreases and thereby the strength of the metal decreases and as you can see if it is a sharp also it may cut this uh, cutting edge because of uh, uh, contact between the workpiece so that is why there should be some nose radius given to this uh, workpiece so these are all the influencing that is tool angle that is rake angle which is influencing the tool life and then we have a as you can see in this uh, uh, graph which is shown as rake angle versus tool life as the rake angle is increasing uh, it is increasing up to certain extent that is optimum range optimum value and then if you further increase the rake angle uh, so then it will uh, decrease the tool life so that is also shown here 
A is for uh, higher uh, cutting speed and B is for lower cutting speed. So, and you can see the influence of uh, rake angle with the for the two life. And then you can see the uh, nose radius versus cutting temperature. So, as the nose radius is increasing, the cutting temperature is decreasing. Okay, and uh, that is what we discussed in the previous slide. So, this is given for different uh, cutting speeds. And if you if the cutting temperature is decreasing, then we will be having a higher tool life. And then, uh, so if clearance angle, so as we discussed in the, along with the rake angle, so the, the clearance angle is more than the tool life uh, is increasing and then it is decreasing after per certain value. It is uh, shown for cast iron and also steel. Okay, so and also the velocity that is cutting speed versus tool life graph is like this. Uh, so as you increase the velocity, the tool life decreases and uh, as you decrease the velocity, the tool life uh, increases. So this is the, this is about tool life and uh, different uh, influencing parameters.